Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this particular tutorial, we'll see how we can print HTML to PDF. However, it's not only about printing because you have must have seen many tutorials out there. It is about fine-tuning your print results. So let me show you a very basic example. I have this HTML, it's a table, it has 30 columns. And what I want to do out here, I want to go ahead and print it as a PDF. Now this looks good on my screen, but if I try to print it, it might come out correctly or it might not come out correctly. Let's go ahead and see. So my flow is very simple. It's a manual flow. I go ahead and pick up my file from the HTML library. I create the file in my OneDrive. Yes, if you want to use the convert file action you need to save the file in your OneDrive first and once you do it you need to convert the file into PDF you can convert it into other formats but we'll focus on PDF out here and then I'm finally sending the file over the email so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly test this flow and see the output as of now, I assume that everything should work as expected. I should see the HTML on the page. So we'll wait. It's working. The flow ran successfully. I have an email out here. And oh my God, the file has not been printed correctly. There is data missing. Now, when you see that, the first thing that comes to my mind is, okay, if I try to print it using the browser, how does it look? It looks somewhat similar to me. So this particular file is not intended for printing. However, we can have it printed. So let's go to our Power Automate and let's see what fine tuning we can do. To be very honest, you cannot do anything. Now that being said, should we go ahead and lose faith? The answer is no. What I'm going to do out here, I'm going to take my friend, Chad GPT, that's my friend for today, and I'm going to ask it for a few examples, okay? So I'll go into my SharePoint, I'll op click on this file, say open, open in text editor, copy this, and what I'll do is that, I'll say, can you please, change the print specific CSS to landscape in HTML below. Okay, I'm creating this prompt on a fly, but let's see how does it come out as. So it tells me that it is adjusting the CSS and it's adding a media type print. So here it tells me that it can change the size to landscape or the orientation to landscape. So I'm going to copy this. It tells me it added a media type print. Understand this, this is print specific CSS and it set the size to landscape or the orientation to landscape. I have cleared my canvas out here. That is my editor canvas and I'll save this, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and hopefully if ChatGPT has given me correct result, I can try my flow again. So I'll go ahead and test it, test it manually. Perfect. My flow has run. So my previous output was like this. Now let's see our new output. It did change the orientation. Okay, it did change the orientation, I guess, but it did not go ahead and fit properly, right? It did not print, fit properly. So, orientation seems to be changed. So, let me quickly check my previous result. It was printing till row 15. Now, it's printing till row 20, but I need to print more. Okay, I need to print more. If I go back and look at my HTML, it has row till 30. Or changing the orientation might not be a solution out here. So I'll say add the CSS 
to set a larger paper size okay and I'll say maybe a2 so let's go ahead and see how the output comes out as it tells me that it can set it to a2 out here and it can set the size to a2 and landscape so let's go back I'll again try to edit it and I'll change this line out here okay I'm going a bit fast because I don't want to waste a lot of time but what it did is that it set a size A2. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and try our luck again. So our flow succeeded. So here if you see, it did not make much of a difference. So understand this my friends, all print specific CSS might not work. So I'm going to give it a better prompt this time. Please make sure that all the 30 columns get fit on A4 paper when printing to PDF. Now let's see what the prompt comes out as. So it tells me to ensure that 30 columns on A4 paper we need to scale down the table content understand this it's a lot of changes that chat gpt is trying to go ahead and make it out here it is going to transform the table structure for us this might have taken us hours to go ahead and do this but chat gpt being so intelligent is helping us out here perfect so what are the key adjustments it changed the font size the scaling was transformed to 0.75. It set the paper size to landscape and it also reduced the margins. So it did a lot of work behind the scene. So this time I'm going to try my luck again because if you remember the page size did not work for me last time. So I'm going to save this. So this is good and I'm going to run my flow again. But this time what I'll do is that I'll give you my output a meaningful name and I'll try to test it again perfect the flow ran I'll just click on cross cross go back here and if you see my friend it squished all the 30 rows together it squished the 30 rows together such that it could accommodate within the page that being said you might want to try few other prompts with your HTML such that it can fit your page size. Now understand this as you saw some prompts might not work. For example, I tried to change the page size to A0. It did not work or it was A2 I guess. But this trick actually worked where I tried to go ahead and scale it down. The orientation also does work. That's pretty much it. I think you have a starter out here. Go ahead and use your chat GPT with your HTML and let's print some PDFs. Thank you. Have a great day and bye-bye.